Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and for episode 2 of Healthy Diabetic Friendly Recipes, I'm sharing a protein and fiber rich dosha recipe. It's ideal as a quick and easy meal any time of the day. So let's get started with the recipe. Into a bowl, I'm adding in green moong dal. Next, I'm adding in 1 fourth cup sama rice, also known as chama eri in Malayalam or same or little millet. So this is one fourth cup of little millet. Little millet is a highly nutritious millet and it is completely gluten free. Add in some water and wash and rinse it a couple of times. Once thoroughly rinsed, add in some more water. When you're using millets, you should always soak it a bit longer than you would normally soak rice. This will help to release the phytic acid content in millet and also will help in better digestion and better nutrient absorption. Into another small bowl, I'm adding in 1 teaspoon methi seeds, also known as fenugreek seeds or uluva in Malayalam. I'm adding in some water and I'm allowing it to soak along with the green moong dal and chama rice. The reason why I'm soaking the methi seeds in another small bowl is that I will not be discarding this water in which the methi seeds has been soaked. And now I'm going to soak the green moong dal and little millet along with the fenugreek seeds overnight. And the next day morning, the green moong dal and sama rice are nicely soaked. So I'm going to wash and rinse it a couple of times. The fenugreek seeds or methi seeds are also nicely soaked. I will not be discarding this water in which the methi seeds has been soaking. Into my blender jar, I'm adding in the soaked methi seeds along with the water. Next, I'm adding in the soaked green moong dal and the little millet. One onion chopped, half teaspoon jeera also known as cumin seeds, one inch ginger chopped, two tablespoon fresh coriander leaves, 1 4th teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 4th teaspoon whole black pepper corns. Black pepper helps in better assimilation of turmeric. Half teaspoon sea salt or as needed. 1 4th teaspoon hing, also known as kaim or asafoetida. I have already shared how to make asafoetida powder at home. Links will be updated below this video. Please do check it out. Add in 1 and 1 4th cups of water, 1 green chilli. Now the green chilli I'm using is slightly spicier, so I'm adding only 1 green chilli. However, you can increase or decrease green chilli as per your taste. So into this I'm adding in 1 green chilli and I'm going to blend this really well until it becomes a nice dosha batter consistency. Pour the blended batter into a bowl. This is the consistency of the batter and as usual the batter will stay good in the refrigerator for a couple of days so it's now ready to make doshas with this i'm heating my cast iron tawa and i'm greasing it with wood pressed chinchili oil also known as sesame oil or thill oil or nallenna in malayalam and reduce the flame to the lowest pour in one ladle full of the peserato dosha batter and spread it out as thinly as possible into a round dosha Drizzle in a little bit of wood pressed sesame oil. Instead of wood pressed sesame oil, you can use A2 desi ghee or any wood pressed oil of your choice. Cover and let it cook. Two minutes later, open the lid and my super healthy Pesaruto dosha is ready to serve. See how crispy this uh, moong dal dosha is. You can enjoy this with uh, sambar, chutney or any side dish or even with pickle of your choice. So guys do try this healthy Pesaruto dosha and uh, let me know in the comments how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.